guys, us and sickle cells. I'm not feeling good right now. But I haven't, up I mean, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna upload this, trying to see how far I can get. I wasn't feeling good at all today. Plus it's the day to pick up, you know, refills and stuff like that. My brother's out getting it. Thank you, brother. You're so appreciated. So, I got um, lobster bisque. And look what they did. They hooked it up, though. Look. And there's still more inside. Yeah, they, I, I think they make it together and they just throw some on side. I mean, on top. I got another one because I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to feel better, but you never know. So, look. They did it. They did their thing. Shout out to Red Lobster. Oh, Throwing up. Everything. Hold on. Got my tea. This one's, um... Peach chamomile tea. Peach chamomile tea. Then I was drinking some ginger beer. Too. I'm trying to eat these three. I'm trying to make myself eat something. And that's super soda. That's the hardest thing ever. Like you gotta be full on, completely comfortable. So I'm, I'm not as comfortable as I wanna be. I'm like making myself. Right at this point. I even got up and put some on, some clothes on, something. Straightened up a little bit. Straightened up a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. To find out if your prescription refill is ready without having to wait on hold, log on to kb.org or our KP mobile app or sign up for text messaging. You may also explore our prescription cost estimator at our pharmacy center on kp.org. Thank you for your patience. Full times are longer than normal due to high call volume. My tripod is in. It's coming. <laughs> Finally ordered one. Didn't I? Didn't I? I see I put the giant pants. First I have... My, my, my t-shirt and shorts and this one, let's see, I'm trying to see this one, trying. oh, so you see, this is the ginger beer, I got that far, it actually goes all the way up to here, so, I got that far, that's pretty much all, half. Huh? I tried. No, I haven't seen anybody do this mukbang before. They may do Red Lobster and they do all that alf the Alfredo. Oh, yeah. I just recently made um, a shrimp Alfredo dish, and it was really good. It tasted like some Red Lobster. I haven't tasted the Olive Garden. I haven't been there yet. But now, everybody was saying it really is good. That's, you know, twerked it, tweaked it, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And, yep, it was really you good. Have reached the Northern California I was really, Kaiser like, Pharmacy surprised. Call pharmacy customer service representatives. Other so now I know Please what I can do. The next available representative. And then... Are you aware that Kaiser Permanente offers a free mailing service for your prescriptions? In addition to the convenience of having your prescription delivered to your home, there may also be a fun saving plan. One phone with them. It is raining over here, man. It was raining yesterday. I was like, dang, why is this? It, it's, and then I heard my grandma. I was like, it's just raining. She's like, it's supposed to rain all week. I was like, ooh. Nobody wants to go out in the rain. Some people. Some people. Like my brother, he loves the rain. That's cool. 
be out in the rain with a dang shirt off, no shoes on, no socks on. And if my mama let in, and it's boxers too, just chilling in the garage, just chilling. Definitely. Especially if he was to take the trash out or something. Yeah. That's him. And will not get sick. He will not, he don't get sick. Doing that. He be like, you don't get sick, you don't get me sick. Mm. Nope, not him. This uh, thing doing with it. Roll up. It was working before, of course y'all knew that. So I'm gonna get that bag. Like this. No, it's loud in y'all ears. Tripod, hurry up and come to the house. <laughs> Throat all sore from freaking throwing up, man. <sighs> now I'm gonna try to eat this. I just had got it because I knew I needed to eat something. And hopefully I can. Mm. Thank you, Jesus, for my food, for my body. Thank you. That's enough to harm my body in Jesus' name. Amen. Tastes like that. It's the claw part. You know, at the real tip of it. Of the claw. Of the lobster. By the way, this is lobster bits. Lobster bits. They actually have these at Walmart or in the grocery store. How to make these? The lobster sells these in the store. But you gotta make it though. You gotta make the mix. And bake it. I did it one time before, just to see. And it really turned out like it and it really tasted like it. And then it smells like it too. It's not like straight red lobster. Watching um Sheena and Naveen on you mm, on YouTube. Eating seafood with the uh kids by itself. Man, don't mind me. I'm just trying. Ooh, my body just, ooh, it's just like it wanna shut down. Well, it, 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 it shut down. I mean, I can barely eat. You weak? You feel the aches? You feel the pains? Um, the tiredness of it. Ooh, I hope I don't get tired. You know how like. You be sick? Well, when we when it's sick cell patients, we get sick. And we take our medicine, and it's in our system, and it's, you know, and, and we rest and we comfortable. And then it comes to the part of, um, what is it? Um, our body get tired. 
it gets tired. I hope I don't have to. I hope so, man. And the reason why I say that is because, man, my body hurt right now. Usually I would go to the hospital. I ain't doing it. It's not that I'm sitting here, like, suffering on purpose or being stubborn. It's nothing like that. It's just, at the end of the day, when you get your treatment, your medicine and everything, and you send your system and, you know, some of the cells, the cyclic cells get flushed out, whatever. Um, they leave you, but you can still feel, you know what I'm saying? And you get, to me, I get better at home way faster. So I was like, okay, so all I got to do is take my medicine around the clock, water, fluids, um, and, stay, and try to get as comfortable as I can. You know, because I look at it like all I'm doing is laying in the bed at the hospital. It ain't nothing different, but a different. It's a, just a different building. To me, it's just a different building. And then if you have, you know, a good support team that's gonna open your medicine or give you your medicine, give you your food, or help you eat, that's what the nurses are doing. So if you got that at home, what's the point of going to the hospital? We don't even like being in the hospital. Like we got to be dealing with nurses and stuff. Some nurses don't understand. Some nurses think that. I just gave you something, you should have relief, or maybe you just want it because you want to feel high or whatever, and then you hear all that stuff. Especially, it's really hard when they got to get the blood test back and you're waiting. You may get one of them nurses that's like, they don't understand until they hear the diagnosis of the blood test. You know what I'm saying? So you deal with that too. So sometimes, they don't want to update the doctor on how you feel, or ask the doctor, for a higher dose or more or if the nurse can bring it early because sometimes if they bring it early this time when the next time come around for it to be for you to take for your doses um you may not need to take it early and you may be okay you know it's it's it because you got it early this time it helps you wean you off for the next time and may you may even need it later next time so when that you know when you do need it you can get it right then and there because you didn't take it at the time that it was scheduled. You waited a little past that time that it was scheduled. So when you need it, it's already there. You ain't even gotta wait. But that's what I'm saying. You get some of them nurses that be tripping and don't wanna do their job. Like the medicine coming out of their pocket when you already got a schedule, it's already ready. So then you go, I wanna talk to the doctor. The doctor's gonna come in the daytime. I mean, early in the morning. And they see their patients in the hospital all through the day. Then there's a certain time that they go home. So then you got to wait till the next day. Hopefully they put in a, 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 a email or something to the doctor. So, you know what I mean? Some doctors do it at home and, and you know, answer stuff at home. You know, through their emails. But sometimes a nurse, if I fill a nurse out and I feel like she ain't going to do her job or she probably going to, I don't know. I'll ask a different nurse real quick. Sometimes I even get another nurse. I ain't got time to be dealing with that. It'd be like, sickle cell is so threatening that one crisis, say, say this crisis could be, or one crisis could be cool, you made it out. The next crisis, you don't know if you're going to make it out. That's how bad the pain is. And plus, if it, it just spreads all everywhere and it's not maintained and controlled. And then if you probably get a nurse that just don't want to do their job, they mess with your medicine, they like, hold on, they do what they want to, you know, all that stuff. Your body can only take so much till it just shut all the way down. They can't even get, you know what I mean? That's it. That's, that's literally it. That's your, that's why sickle cell patients be scared as hell. We be stuck. I think that's probably the only thing a real person can say they're afraid of, other than God. You know, you fear God. I fear God. I don't fear nobody. But now that sickle cell, it's, it's just scary because you don't know that... Your next crisis or the crisis that you're in is going to be your last. And that's, that's it. There ain't no coming back from it. And now I heard that they're using the sickle cells, the, what fight the... It's something in the sickle cell, whatever that helps fight off the sickle cell, they're using that and they're putting it in cancer patients for a cure. 
So they're using, excuse me, so they're using sickle cell to help fight for cancer for their treatment. And it's like, dang no. So that means, you know, ours is worse, sir. Come to find out ours is worse, sir. Because we still ain't got no cure, man. I mean, you know, a little stem cell, but everybody can't do that. I, I'm not a candidate for that. I was when I was younger, but I, my body was not, um, my body wasn't strong enough for it. So, and then now, the type of sickle cell that I have, the, I developed a vascular necrosis from, the, from having sickle cell, which a vascular necrosis, it, it's a deterioration of the bone. So, and if they make somehow, if they, somehow they make new bone, you know, I'm able to make new bone or strengthen the bone in my body, that's a choice. That's the only way. Other than that, there ain't no cure. That's why you still see some sickle cell people that still have sickle cell. You may see some that don't, and it helped, and they just had to do the little IV, and that's it, the little bag. And it, the little bag is like this, like this much. It's like purple. This little stuff inside, the color of it is purple. And they good. Well, that's what I've heard. I've read some stuff, too. Yeah. Ah, I'm waiting half of it. I'm like right here. This is Natalie speaking. How can I help you? Make sure you get the proper little tricks, okay? I'm about to finish this biscuit and that's it. I can't even do it. You need to get some breathing. You go, Roy. My trainer said I can have a cheat day. A lot of people try to figure out how it feels. Or compare it to. I want to say the uncomfortableness compared to pregnancy. You know when your back hurt and you're just uncomfortable? That. And when you're going into labor and you're feeling the contractions and all that stuff. But the only thing is, it's not just in one place. It's all of I can barely keep my eyes open. That's how bad it is right now. And then it like a, a, a okay. Said I was gonna finish this. I'm gonna finish this. This piece. Oh man, this is. Ooh, this is. Man. I did this just for y'all. Remember, I said I don't even know if I can even film being sick. Well, this is it. This is. It's gonna be five guys, Patreon. Almost as worse as it can yeah. get. Some other cats. Because be the, the um, right now it's yeah, just in like, in like in my socks. Ooh, I'm starting not even to be able to finish my yeah, whole yeah. word. See, and that's another thing, we're not even able to talk. So you may hear me like not even finish the whole word or slur or even miss something in the in the yeah. sentence. Cause the, the, yeah, like we can't even communicate. So you, if you are somebody's support team, you're on their support team, and they trust you on their support team, you are, man, you rock. You t thank you for being that for them because for you to be able to know how to communicate with them, that's the plus. Like you guys get the gold star, y'all get the medal and all that. Because it's hard. It's hard to communicate and it's hard for somebody to pay attention and understand and know at what times and what you're doing and gestures, what those mean at that time and stuff like that. And what to do. That's the thing, what to do. Because one thing you can remember, oh, this worked this time. So I'm going to do it this time. And that thing, it sometimes it won't even work. So you just got to keep it in your back pocket next time or you can just may it may not work earlier this time like okay say right now um maybe oh so laying down eating it didn't work this time so i'm sitting up eating last time it didn't help Excuse me. i wasn't able to sit up and eat i had to lay down and eat 
So you see what I'm saying? Or it could be like, okay, so right now I'm able to sit up and eat later in the day or an hour or two or something. Not an hour or two, but you know, when I get hungry again or something, I may not be able to sit up and eat. Or I'll have to change my arrangements of doing it. It's just, just keep it going, y'all. Just constantly keep ideas. You can even reach out to people. Go on the internet, ask, and then like when the the patient or when the person with sickle cell, when they do feel better, you can ask them at that time. Hey, you know when you was feeling this and you was doing this and that and that, right? What? Well, and I know you couldn't communicate. I know you couldn't talk. What helped? What was able to? What do you did you figure out anything that could have helped at that time? And that's what we go through too. Okay, I remember I felt like that. What could have helped even though I wasn't able to speak? And that's important for a person to keep trying. Some people think we give up. I think it's hard for us to give up because our body constantly fights. It's constantly in fight mode. That's why we be tired. Let your sickle cell people get they rest. You can be like keeping them from going in the hospital. You can be like, you really want to go out with them? And they be like, hey, just give me an hour. Let them take that hour. I'm telling you. Because when they get that hour in and they feel good, it's, you're able to enjoy them for, you know what I mean, then. And they probably will give you even more of their personality that you might like or maybe you haven't seen before. But you'll be able to enjoy it because that's how we are. We want other people to enjoy it. We don't want people to stress off of us. That's like, that's why a lot of us sometimes don't tell everybody every second that we don't feel good. If you don't feel good all the time, right, and you know this, do you feel comfortable telling somebody I don't feel good 30 minutes, I don't feel good 20 minutes later, I don't feel good 15 minutes or 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know if you're being annoying or if they don't even want to hear it. And they're not even trying to be mean. They just, I know, I understand, I'm working with you. Just, you, don't, you know what I mean? So then, we do that. And we premeditate a lot of our decisions. It has to be premeditated for us to get the job done sometimes. Sometimes that works and then sometimes we just we just gotta do it. Sometimes that don't work. You can be like, come on, let's just do it. Just get up, come on, come on. Sometimes that shit don't work. We gotta sit there and premeditate every little thing, every little movement, every little gesture. It's like giving up it's like it's like finding the energy or building up the energy or whatever you want to do. You can just be trying to build up the energy just to have a conversation. That's why we be saying we the strongest people. You know what I'm saying? We really are. Our body constantly fights to survive. I don't think I could do it. Oh, man, y'all. Okay. So, I don't know. I might do some more if I feel good or something. Mm -hmm. Or I might not. Man, I'm about to do it. What did you say? Then it's the weight gain. So you know you got a per you know when they're doing the weight gain, that's the perfect, perfect time to do all you can to keep their mind off the pain. If it's telling jokes, if it's looking silly, if it's doing crazy dances, if it's putting a movie on, if it's rubbing their body. Whatever is comfortable for them. Everybody, everybody's different because our bodies are different and our body takes different things and we need different things. But, the, you know, sometimes the 
pain can be familiar. And there's times where, you know, the pain is just plain on different. But it's sickle cell related pain. Um, that's the best I can explain it for now. It's still raining. Mama, drink it. I got some bread for you. Hey, y'all. It's raining. I'm at my mama's house. You all done? I'm at my mama's. You got more of that? Put my red, my uh, scarf back on. Because I redid my hair. Somebody come get them. And tried to put curls in it yesterday. Didn't even work. Uh, Fell the hell. This is what gets me. I put my curls in as I, you know, I flat iron and I curl it, right? Then I was like, okay, it's putting too much heat. So as I go to do it, right, I go like that. Then I wrap it, you know what I'm saying? Boom. A little curl, you know, a little something, something. So as I'm finishing on, you know, because I went, this time I did it different. I went up instead of this side, this side. I went up like that. And um, by the time I got done with the beginning, got to the top or the halfway, man, my curls was gone. Like it had a full on curl. I was like, man. And I put oil in my hair. This good oil. It's called argan oil. It smells so good. So yeah. So if Nye don't come back, I'll see you later on another one. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm just go ahead and post this one. It could be another one. Most likely I'll be feeling better. Or at least got some relief. All right, y'all. Bye.